Oh man, it's the last one. <laughs> Hey everyone, it's Jason from GameRave.com, and this is GameRave TV. Alright guys, welcome to the last episode of the Letter Legacy. We have letters S and T to play with. Now of course, these are two of the most uh, prolific letters in the uh, alphabet with crazy amount of titles and so forth. And to try and whittle it down would have just been ridiculous. So I kind of took the quick route and tried to get it down to like at least the last like 10 or 8 games to pick from. Uh, so let's get to it, otherwise this video is going to take forever. All right, guys, so we'll start with S. Uh, S is, uh, you know, finalist, so to speak, for the uh, Letter Legacy. Uh, came down to quite a few great games. Uh, there are Silent Bomber, an excellent one-off game where you basically play a stealth bomber, only he's human and not a ship. Uh, there's Soul Blade, just an amazing fighting game from Namco. There's Spider-Man 1 and 2, uh, one of, actually two of the best uh comic book games to ever come out in that era of gaming. Uh, you've got the entire Spyro series, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, you've got most of the Street Fighters, and for the heck of it, I'll throw in Street Fighter the movie as a runner-up just to piss some people off. Uh, you've got Strider 2. Uh, you've got Sweet Coden 1 and 2, a really, really good RPG series with a whole lot of stuff to do, including a huge cast of characters to deal with. Um, and then a bunch of others that really didn't quite make the cut. So, what is the winning game for the letter S? Um, this one really was kind of a tough challenge just because it is available in its original state on a different system, but it's weird because that's actually a detriment to the game. And the winner is Silent Hill. Now, what do I mean by detriment? Um, if you play Silent Hill on the PlayStation 3, or in my case, um, the PlayStation 3 uh, SCART cable, um, the upscaling and resolution change can actually mess with some of the special effects. Um, the fog no longer becomes fog. It becomes this sort of like checkerboard. I wouldn't call it a mess, but you're sitting there going, that, that's not fog. That's, that's, that's a jumbled mess. Uh, so some of the original chutzpah is missing from the scariness and so forth. Uh, but as far as horror games go, nothing will ever top that damn radio. I loved that radio static in that game, and that really set the tone for just how to be scared out of your wits. Um, plus, there are also just great little touches, like all the author names for the streets, um, little touches here and there. If you have a chance to play Silent Hill, if your PS3 is hooked up through red, white, and yellow cables, go ahead and play the PSN version. Otherwise, grab yourself an original PlayStation and play that sucker um, on a CRT TV. Um, it's one of the few times the, the HD TVs don't do it justice. All right, guys, so that leaves T as our final letter for the letter I see. And of course, it had a freaking laundry list length of uh, games to it. So bear in mind, again, I got this as close as I could to a short list to talk about. So runners up. Uh, in alphabetical order, and clearly I'm reading from the paper I wrote down, uh, we've got the Tales of Destiny 1 and 2, really cool RPG game series. Uh, I really like the artwork style in it. Uh, you've got the Tekken series 1, 2, and 3, and if you're looking for a way to cheat around owning these on PlayStation 1, just go pick up the Tekken Anniversary Collection on PlayStation 2 that came with the arcade stick, because uh, 1, 2, and 3 are hidden on the disc on the options screen. Uh, you've got Tenpin Alley, excellent bowling game. Oh, you have Tenchu 1 and 2, a really good stealth game, aside from some icky kind of uh, hit detection problems. Uh, you've got Thousand Arms, a really wacky Japanese-style RPG where you date girls all over the place. Uh, you've got uh, Threads of Fate, really good action game series from Squaresoft. Uh, you've got My Babies, Time Crisis 1 and 2, well, Time Crisis and Time Crisis Project Titan 2 is on PlayStation 2. Um, the Tomb Raider series, of course. Uh, you've also got the Tony Hawk series, uh, the Toomba series, and the Twisted Metal series. Even though, me personally, I only really like two. I didn't really care for the other ones. But, nah, what do you want? Alright guys, so what is the winner for the letter T? Now, when we first started this project, it was basically to bring games to light that you normally wouldn't think of. Um, especially when other you know, bloggers and people would list their top 25 games and it's the same 25 games. Um, the winning letter for T as a game you have to play on the PlayStation is actually Treasures of the Deep by Namco. 
So what's this game about? It's an underwater adventure game where you are a guy and a little submarine and other little underwater vehicles. Uh, we get to pick your um, loadouts, aka just like in Tenshu, and you basically have to survive the underwater adventure, be it from sharks, other bad guys with their underwater vehicles, and what have you. Um, there's a lot of collecting, you collect coins to buy new uh, items and weapons and so forth. Um, but what made the game awesome is that it really did feel underwater. Um, what Echo the Dolphin did for underwater games on the Dreamcast, Treasure of the Deep did uh, from an actual like shooting standpoint. Um, other games had tried to do underwater, like Tiger Shark and you know what have you, but Treasure of the Deep was just so well done and so well executed in its level design and just sense of urgency and danger. Like, you haven't lived until you're trying to collect a treasure chest and look up and there's a big freaking shark right in front of your face. Um, it was just really great. Um, I've actually beaten the game twice um, since having gotten it um, years and years ago when Game Ray was originally a fanzine. And one of these days, now that I actually have the SCART set up for the TV, I do want to play through it again just because it was that, it was just so fun. Um, if the game had one problem to it, it would be that certain areas of the game, especially the final boss fight, are just ridiculously, stupidly hard. Um, I vividly remember I just game sharked health for the last boss fight. It was it was just like I couldn't do it. Um, now I don't even know if I could do it even with the game shark. Um, but it is so worth it to play it, especially because it never had a sequel. Like nothing ever came of it. And it's one of the best, most underrated games you'll ever not play if you had learned for this video set. So go pick yourself up Treasure of the Deep. It's totally worth it. And there you have it, guys. We complete all 27 letters, well, 26 letters is the number, um, of the letter Legacy. Um, hopefully this has been really good fun for you guys. Um, I enjoyed doing it. Uh, we got a lot of positive feedback. And I know a couple of our viewers uh, were really, really depressed this was coming to an end. Uh, so a sort of hidden announcement, if you will, in the midst of all of our other anniversary projects is uh, we're announcing the next series uh, to come from GameRave.com, and in honor of the 27 letter legacy, we're going to go in the opposite direction, and that is the... <laughs> nice touch. Uh, that is the 27 letter lament, uh, where we are going to pick one game at random from every letter and the number, and discuss what went wrong and what could have done better about it. Unlike most of the other internet's videos, this is not going to be a bashing series. This will actually be a discussion of how it could have been better and if it had gotten better over time. So don't worry, Angry Video Game Nerd still has his day job. That being said, guys, please enjoy the rest of our anniversary projects. Uh, we've got three, four, and five to go after this video airs, and we will see you in the coming days. Take care, you guys. Have a great one.